Hey everybody, Vega here for Serpent X Tech. I wanted to start this video in here because it's gonna get really loud. I think I figured out what that custom firmware was on the What's Miner that BT Miner's put on there. Right now I do have it running on high power mode and it is super loud, as you can hear. But we are drawing a lot of juice. Uh, I think it's the custom firmware that BT Miner's put on because we're sitting around 3,800 watts, but we're getting 110 terahash. But look at those temperatures, 93 average, 95 degrees Celsius. So definitely very toasty. Uh, air cooling in Florida, not exactly the best. And unfortunately, uh, you know, it looks like low power mode is the best one that I'm gonna go with. That's not accurate data. So we're gonna have to refresh it. Today's video is brought to you by BT Miners, and on their website, you can sign up for their newsletter to get special offers or coupons depending on the service or product that they're offering, and their new website does bring a number of elements into the fold. For example, it's Mining Profitability Calculator. Just like ASIC Miner Value, you can see what is the most profitable miner or cryptocurrency to mine at that time. Their miners range all the way from script algorithm to ETC hash. And they also offer repair services for ASICs or miners. Now, obviously, if you have a really old ASIC that parts aren't carried anymore, that might be a little bit harder. But just reach out to their services. See if they have a way to help you repair it. If you can't have your ASICs or your miners in-house with you or at your location, you may want to consider hosting services. Now, while I can't speak to all of these various elements of BT miners because I haven't had one-on-one -on -one experience, do check them out and by supporting them you're supporting the channel and i couldn't thank you enough but let's get back to the video i'm guessing the custom firmware that i saw in the previous video has it to where it could hit 110 terahash because this isn't the m30s plus plus this is the m30s plus which should be the 106 terahash uh, so if i do what i'm planning to with this thing i'm pretty sure it'd be able to hit an even higher hash rate in the future let's look at the 106 one where is it at i would like to get my hands on the m50 that'd be really nice bt miners but uh we'll cross that bridge when we get to it so yeah the 30 s plus plus is a 110 terahash we're able to hit that but we're 400 watts over what that model can do so this one isn't as efficient the 106 terahash we're hitting 110 but again 400 watts over what it can do so i think there's a, a custom firmware because remember on the previous video the official website has a different firmware number and version from july where the one that i just saw is from august or the one that we saw in that previous video is from august so it, very interesting right very interesting to me uh not something sustainable uh, matter of fact i gotta put this back on low power mode it is on high power mode uh, but my wife is about to be home so we're gonna put it back on low power mode let it continue to mine just so I can hit my payout threshold. And then we're gonna shut this baby down just for now until, you know, I can figure out a more sustainable way, which is being worked on. But that's pretty much it for this video. Please do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed and the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel. Um, like to today's video sponsor, BT Miners, who allowed us the opportunity to work and play around with this ASIC. Definitely uh, wouldn't recommend a bunch of ASICs for the at-home miner, but uh, it mines Bitcoin, and we know Bitcoin isn't going anywhere, so I'll let you decide on that. The noise and output from your room, there's no place safe in this house with this thing running. That's all I gotta say. All right, see you guys around.